Hello friends, hope you're doing well. This is my new video tutorial on the Eclipse setup with JRE9. Yes, if you are facing trouble while setting up the JRE9 inside the Eclipse, then this video tutorial will help. Okay, so from the beginning, I will show you the installation of the JDK9. Then we will set up this JRE9 inside the Eclipse as well as I have given the instruction which version you have to download to work with jre9 so let's get started so first step we're going to download the jdk9 and then we install on your windows 10 so here is the browser and you just need to type the download java 9 and here you can see the many links but the first one is most useful so let's open with the new browser tab Okay, now we are on this page, the official download page of the JDK. So now here we have to look the appropriate JDK version. So we are going to install on the 64-bit machine. Okay, so we have to accept this license agreement. And here is the file. This is JDK 9.0 for Windows 64 machine. Okay, now we will download it. Guys, to install the Java, you have to click on this exe. Once you click on the exe, it will prompt you the action window that Windows will ask you, do you want to proceed? So you have to click on the OK or, or continue. So the installation will start. And once the installation is finished, we have to set up the environments variable inside your Windows 10. So how we will do that? So just follow these instructions okay now I'm here inside this PC and this is the icon for that now put your cursor on it and do a right click on it and go to the properties and now just click on it so it will open you this window here you have to go to the advanced system settings okay now here in the advanced settings we have selected this advanced tab okay now right now here we have to go on this environment variables so we will click on this button once we will click it will show you the environment variables window where we have a path variables and system variables so right now here i'm inside this section system variables so here you have to create two things the first one is this java underscore home now you can see this environment variable this is the name java underscore home and the value of this variable so the value is what the installation path of the jdk so guys just notice this thing i have given the path up to this jdk folder I have not given the path up to bin okay so make sure you are giving the path up to JDK folder only okay so you can browse the directory with the help of this button this is a useful thing inside Windows 10 but if you are doing the same thing in Windows 7 so you will get different things okay and the second one you have to set this variable as well this is gre underscore home and the same thing we have to give the path up to this jre 9.0.1 the parent folder okay and the same we have a browse directory option here to choose the directory okay and once we have done with these two then we will move to the next and we will see the setup inside the Eclipse. I have given these two variables because in further if you want to install Maven or other things. So then you will have to set up the Java underscore home environment variable in your machine. That's why I have set up. I have given these instruction to set up you in advance. Okay. So this will help you in further any other installation software installation 
for your development environment inside the Eclipse. So okay, once we have done all these stuff, so just click on this OK button and now close rest of the things. After the successful installation of JDK 9, then we will move towards the downloading of the compatible version of Eclipse for Java 9. So from where you have to download, so I have given the correct link for that download. So you can copy from the description box and just directly use that and download that package. So here is the link. So you have to download the Oxygen 1A version. This is specific, this is tested version. I have tested it and I have set up uh, the JDK 9 inside this. So you will not face any problem and you don't need to go for a marketplace and there you don't need to put any link or just don't need to add any additional plugin. It is by default ready for the Java name. Okay, so this is the URL. You can directly download it. You can see here lots of packages there. So we have to choose this second one, Eclipse IDE for Java EE developers. Okay, so on the right hand side, you can choose that the 32 and 64 bit uh, package. Okay, according to your machine architecture and uh, there's another thing. So you have, a, if you have a Mac machine, so you can go for the second one if you want for the same uh, Eclipse for uh, the your Linux so you have a both choices 32 bit and 64 bit so we will download the 64 bit uh, because uh, right now I'm using the 64 bit Windows 10 so I will download this version of Eclipse on my machine so here's the download link and just click on this orange download button okay now you can see on the left hand side the downloading is started now it will take few minutes to complete download and after that we will unzip it and then we'll do the setup and we'll see the JRE in action inside the Eclipse okay guys now downloading is done and the Eclipse Oxygen is downloaded on my machine and just copied that zip folder here in the separate folder. So you can see here this is a zip file. I'm going to unzip it right now. Okay. So unzip process is running now. Okay, now it's going to complete it. Okay, it's done. And this is the Eclipse folder and finally another folder inside it and this is the main files and here here are the main files of Eclipse and this is the executable application for the Eclipse I'm going to launch it by uh, doing a double click on it so now here you can see that this is the splash screen of the oxygen one this is the launch date September 2017 so you guys just keep remembering this splash screen in your mind and you have to download the same version otherwise you will you will face trouble while using the JRE 9 inside the Eclipse so I'm launching it first time on this machine that's why it's taking time for setting up the environment for ready to use so guys just have patience and wait for a few seconds more while Eclipse is setting up the workspace for you. Okay, now it will show you this window for setting up the workspace path. So it's taking the your default uh, that user and then the folder for and the folder and this is setting up the Eclipse workspace at this place okay so you can give up uh, your particular location as you want by using this browse button okay and uh, right now I'm going to launch the same thing with this default path so just click on this launch button 
and you can see the progress bar on the bottom it's running now 40 percent is completed and it will take one or two minute to complete okay right now so eclipse setup is ready now and now here we will see that the GRE 9 is there or not to make it confirm so the path I have given that is already set I have previously used the same workspace for running some sample project two sample projects is already appearing here so ah I will show you so to do that if you will open this workspace first time then there's no project inside your Eclipse then you have to go to the file menu and go to the new and right here you have to choose this project and come here you have to use the this first one Java project and do click on the next and type a sample project okay right now it is using the Java SE 9.0 which is already set up so don't worry if it not if it is not showing you first time so we will do that after creating this project just click on the finish button and uh, you will see on the left hand side this project is set up now uh, in your case you will able to see that Java SE 8 or something that previous version will appear in your uh, Eclipse in this Eclipse because what will be on the default path so that will appear here but if it is not appearing that Java SE 9 is not appearing here so don't worry about that just do a right click on your project and come here on the bottom and choose this properties okay so right here we have to go in this java build path and then we have to check the libraries okay so right now we have this java se okay so if we don't have this one so you have to go this library okay and now you can now using this add library button just click on it so you will get this small window here we have to choose jre system library and click on the next okay then right now here we have to choose the alternate jre because in your case if you have set up the uh, jdk path in the environment variable that is your previous JDK so you will not see 9.0 at this place you will see the different version and you have to add the current one like JRE 9.1 so you have to choose the alternate JRE and you can go here like just do click on this install JRE and here you have to this another version like I have added this JRE 9.0 like first I am removing this I have selected this one and I have removed so in your case you will be seeing something like that this previous JRE version is added in your Eclipse but you don't have the new one so you have to just go here and click on this add button and the default selection is ok standard VM and just do a next and here it will ask you for the JRE home okay so you have to choose the path where this uh, JRE 9.0 is installed so you have to choose the directory and it will prompt you that browse option so 
we will move inside the C drive of this machine and then we'll look for the GRE 9 so go to the program files and choose this Java folder and here you can see that the GRE 9.0.1 folder is there so just click on it okay once you select it press OK button and now you will see this GRE 9.0 is successfully added he here at this place and this entry is up will appear here this entry will appear okay once it is done you have to click on the finish button okay and now you will see the one row is added which is GRE 9.0.1 okay so just uncheck the previous one and do a check on the new one and just click on this apply and after click on this apply and close button now you will see the two things the alternate GRE will be uh, GRE 9.0.1 so you have to choose this one okay and now you have to click on the finish button and then you will see that GRE is already added right now at this place and click on this apply or you can click on this apply and close directly no problem once you do all this stuff now you can try by creating a simple main class inside this so I'm going to create a new class this will be test class for me with the main method inside it now click on the finish button and you will see the text dot java file is created here and now you can type so i so So I have written the one statement SYSO inside this main method for testing and if everything is set up correctly or not. I mean to say the Java 9 is correctly set up or not. So just do a clean build of the existing project, the new one that we have created and just execute this test file. Do a right click and choose this option run as as a Java application. program is being compiled by the compiler and you will get this output hello Sam so this Java 9 is set up successfully inside your Eclipse and it is working properly and perfectly fine I hope this video helped you to understand the setting up the GRE 9 inside the Eclipse and also you will get the idea from where and what version you have to download for setting of the java 9 so guys if you have any doubts so please comment below i will try to reply you on the same as soon as possible i hope you enjoyed this video that's all guys i hope you enjoyed this video so please like and subscribe my channel and press the notification bell icon for new video updates thanks for watching